Uh, 10, uh, we don't have a corresponding H and E here. So I don't know if anyone, anyone figure this out? This stain is P16, I'll tell you that, because it's there on the label. Well, is this good or bad that we have P16 staining here? Good, yeah, exactly. So P16 is a stain that ha has a lot of different things it can stain and a lot of different roles depending on the context, okay? So um, so like, for example, it strongly stains HPV-driven uh, squamous dysplasia, like HCIL or um, or squamous situ uh, uh, in the anogenital region from high-risk HPV and, and invasive squamous cell carcinomas that arise from those. So in that case, I guess it's kind of bad or it's a marker to help us detect that. But here in melanocytic lesions, the presence of P16 is normal and good and either diffuse staining like this or patchy staining, both of those are considered normal. If you have dis diffuse uh, significant loss of P16 expression in a melanocytic lesion, that doesn't necessarily mean it's malignant, but that is a, a, a worrisome a sign that there may be an abnormality in the underlying um, cell cycle pathway um, because P16 is um, a protein that is linked to the gene uh, CDK and 2A. And um, so abnormalities in that pathway uh, can be seen in melanomas. So when we have loss of P16, oftentimes that will worry us, depending on what the morphologic features are like, of course, and that may in, um, encourage us to do further testing like molecular workup um, in a melanocytic lesion. So in this case, this was a Spitz nevus, a benign normal Spitz nevus, and you can kind of see a glimpse of the large Spitzoid uh, melanocytes looking like eyeballs staring back at us with their big central nucleoli and they're kind of plump uh, epithelioid to spindle cells. So even though we can't really see the cells well because of the staining here, um, that's what's going on is a Spitz nevus and it's got kind of tracking along a hair follicle there. And it's normal that there's P16 expression.